Hello everybody, today we will try to save this tiny power supply, Delta, DPS 150 watts, nothing special, but a man wanted it to be fixed and we are gonna help him. Let's check together how this power supply behaves. Let's make sure that we have the voltage at the power cord. I have it through wire isolating transformer. As you can see, 250 watts with no load. When we switch it, nothing happened. No indication. No signs of life. Let's check, do we have any shorts at the output? This line is good, this line is good, good, and 12 volts is good. PS on, good. 5 volts is also good. We see no problems at the output. Let's open it and see. The screws are removed. That's the inside. It is clean. Quite easy. Circuit. It has PFC, nothing obvious so far, let's get the PCB out and check more sorrowfully. There is the fuse, as you can see, 2 amps. I removed the screws from PCB. Get it out like this. On this side, I don't see no signs of problems, which gives me hope. Okay, let's take multimeter and try to find the problem. First, we check the fuse. The beeping sound is here, and the fuse is good actually. I thought it may be open, but no. So we should have some voltage at the cap. Now we don't have. Probably there is a discharging resistor at the cap sometimes. They put it, especially in tiny power supplies. Let's troubleshoot further. So if we have our fuse good, as I said, we should have voltage and the bulk capacitor. If we have voltage, so probably we have some problems with standby voltage. And as you can see, we have 350, which is OK. After that, I discharged the cap and started to troubleshoot the standby PWMIC. And as you can see, from source to drain of that IC, which has built-in MOSFET, we have a short. That's a very common IC, TNI, I have those in my stock, different types, I ordered them 
just in case. And that's definitely a problem. Let's remove the IC. I will try to show it to you. It's TNY268PN. As I said, very common one. Okay, here is a new one and a bad one. I'm going to replace it. And probably everything is going to be fine. Let's check one more time. So this is the bad one, as you can see. From source to drain, we have those 0 0.06 voltage drop, which is way too low. And on the good one, one more time, and the good one, nothing from this side, and if we switch the probes, we see the voltage drop of a diode. Okay, let's replace and see. Also, there is a resistor. This one I checked further. It goes from the plus of capacitor to ohms resistor. And now it is open circuit. I have a slightly bigger one, 1 1.2 ohms, which is okay. Actually, we can put even the wire, but for limiting the current spike at the turn on, it is advisable to put a resistor. So those two, com two components are bad. I replace those and Let's try and start the power supply. Let's check one more time. And it's OK. All right, get the tester. Turn on the transformer. And we see the green light, and all the voltages are present. I put everything back, connect it again, one more check with the same tester. I'm not gonna load it, I'm definitely confident that it will supply the load it claims for 150 is nothing. I don't know where this man is gonna put this power supply. Some old computer or I don't know. Okay, let's connect the mains. Get another tester. Connect it, and strangely, it is showing minus thirteen point eight volts, even though there is no even wire going to. So probably the power supply has Bluetooth built in, and the tester also. Anyway, we saved this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.